Boy, it was one thing after another today. Daggum flash flood tornado warning going on in town. And, but when I start a lawn, I don't want to stop till it's done. So I thought I can finish up I'm Gene Watkins' house and then be done with it. Well, sure enough, boy, it's like a downpour, like a daggum monsoon out there. And I'm Gene Watkins hollered out. From, she goes, Tabin, come on in here till this thing blows over. Well, I, first of all, I know it wasn't going to blow over. It's like a three-day storm coming in, and this is day one. But I did need to get out that rain. I was, I was matter no wet hand out there trying to fix that mower. That daggum mower was was clogged up, and it wasn't going to turn on me. And that's a her new mower. She's asking me to come in the house, and I'm madder than a kid in a bookstore, you know, just don't want to be there. So I get into her house, buddy, and she's making a pecan pie. I only thought people made pecan pies around Thanksgiving and Christmas, so I didn't expect that, but buddy, it smelled like heaven with a bow on it inside that house. No sooner had I started to get a little happy thinking about that pecan pie, Diamond Jean's uh, husband came in the room and he's senile. Like, he, he's crazy. He's completely crazy, but she takes care of him. And he came in there and he looked at me and said, Who are you? I was like, Well, Mrs. Watkins, I'm Tavin Dillard. I'm mowing your lawn. I've been mowing your lawn now for a number of years here. And he said, what are you doing in my house? And it was raining, and I'm Jean uh, invited me in. Are you her boyfriend? I thought, oh, heavens. I'm Jean walked in, and she said, Jesse, have a seat. That's Tab, and you know who he is. Now, you need to calm down. And he said, if you're cheating on me, just tell me now, and I'll pack my bags, and I'll get out of here. Good heavens. I'm, be I'm better off out there getting struck by lightning than sitting in here listening to this. You know, I'm pretty much an honest man, but... Uh, if Jesse was going to pack his bags, I figured it'd be better to lie to him. So we just told him that I was a pie taster from the county fair and I was handing out first place today. And then so when she brought that pie in, I ate it and I gave it a thumbs up. And he said, where's my blue ribbon? And he starts clapping. Where's my blue ribbon? Where's my blue ribbon? And I said, you know what? Uh, they're having it delivered because it's so big. And he got really happy about that. And then he went and curled up on his bed and fell asleep. So I told Lima Jean, uh, I don't know how I'm going to get you a giant blue ribbon. And I'm sorry about that. I'll try to figure something out. And she said, don't worry about it. In 15 minutes, he'll forget you're even here. So I figure in the next week or so, once I, the storm blows over and I get over my pneumonia, uh, I'll be out there finishing her lawn, fixing that mower, and making it happen. <laughs> Where's my blue ribbon? Where's my blue ribbon? Where's my blue ribbon? Where's my blue ribbon?